Hi guys, welcome to another audio video in that reading, 2 Chronicles 25 of the King James Version Bible. And it reads, A Messiah was twenty and five years old when he began to reign, and he reigned twenty and nine years in Jerusalem, and his mother's name was Jehoiadadan of Jerusalem. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord, but not with a perfect heart. Now it came to pass, when the kingdom was established to him, that he slew his servants that had killed the king his father. And he slew not their children, but did as it was it is written in the law of the book of Moses, where the Lord commanded, saying, The fathers shall not die for the children, neither shall the children die for the fathers, but every man shall die for his own sin. Moreover, Amasiah gathered Judah together and made them captains over thousands and captains over hundreds, according to the houses of their fathers, throughout all Judah and Benjamin. And he numbered them for from twenty years old and above, and found them three hundred thousand choice men, also to go forth to war, that could handle spear and shield. He hired also an hundred thousand mighty men of fallow out of Israel for an hundred talents of silver. But there came a man of God to him, saying, O king, let not the army of Israel go with thee, for the Lord is not with Israel to wit, with all the children of Ephraim. But if thou wilt go, do it, be strong for the battle. God shall make thee fall before the enemy, for God hath power to help and to cast down. And Amaziah said to the man of God, But what shall we do for the hundred talents which I have given to the army of Israel? And the man of God answered, The Lord is able to give thee much more than this. Then Amaziah separated them to wit, the army that was come to him out of Ephraim to go home again. Wherefore their anger was greatly kindled against Judah, and they returned home in great anger. And Amaziah strengthened himself, and led forth his people, and went to the valley of Saul, and smote the children of Seir ten thousand. And other ten thousand left alive did the children of Judah carry away captive, and brought them unto the top of the rock, and cast them down from the top of the rock, that they all were broken in pieces. But the soldiers of the army which Amaziah sent back, that they should not go with him to battle, fell upon the cities of Judah, from Samaria even to Beth Horon, and smote three thousand of them, and took much spoil. Now it came to pass, after that Amaziah, was come from the slaughter of the Edomites, that he brought the gods of the children of Seir, and set them to be his gods, and bowed down himself before them, and burnt incense unto them. Wherefore the anger of the Lord was kindled against Amaziah, and he sent unto him a prophet, which said unto him, Why hast thou sought after the gods of a people, which could not deliver their own people out of thine hand? And it came to pass, as he talked with him, that the king said unto him, Art thou maid of the king's counsel? Forbear, why shouldest thou be smitten? The, then the prophet forbear and said, I know that God hath determined to destroy thee, because thou hast done this, and hast not hearkened unto my counsel. Then Amaziah king of Judah took advice and sent to Joash, the son of Jehoahaz, Jehoahaz, and Jehoahaz, the son of Jehu, king of Israel, saying, Come, let us see one another in the face. And Joash, king of Israel, sent to Amaziah, king of Judah, saying, The thistle that was in Lebanon sent to the cedar that was in Lebanon, saying, Give thy daughter to my son to wife and there passed a wild beast that was in lebanon and trod down the thistle thou sayest lo thou hast smitten the edomites and thine heart lifteth thee up to boast abide now at home why shouldest thou meddle in to thine hurt that thou shouldest fall even thou and judah with thee 
but Amaziah would not hear, for it came to God came of God that he might deliver them into the hand of their enemies, because they sought after the gods of Edom. So Joash the king of Israel went up, and they saw one another in the face, both he and Amaziah the king of sorry, Amaziah king of Judah at Beth Shemesh, which belongeth to Judah. And Judah was put to the worst before Israel, and they fled every man to his tent. And Joash, the king of Israel, took Amaziah, king of Judah, the son of Joash, the son of Jehoaz, at Beshemesh, and brought him to Jerusalem, and brake down the wall of Jerusalem from the gate of Ephraim to the corner gate, four hundred cubits. And he took all the gold and silver, and all the vessels that were found in the house of God, with Obededom and the treasures of the king's house, the hostages also, and returned to Samaria. And Amaziah, the son of Joash, king of Judah, lived after the death of Joash, son of Jehoahaz, king of Israel, fifteen years. Now the rest of the acts of Amaziah, first and last, behold, are they not written in the book of the kings of Judah and Israel? Now after the time of Amaziah, did turn away, no, at the time that Amaziah did turn away from following the Lord, they made a conspiracy against him in Jerusalem, and he fled to Lashish. But they sent to Lashish after him and slew him there, and they brought him upon horses and buried him with his fathers in the city of Judah. All right, guys, so we saw where after Joash came Amaziah and Amaziah. He followed after the Lord, but he did not do it with a perfect heart. And as you can recall, the Lord had said that we should follow him with a perfect heart. Okay? And we should always long after him. And we see here where even though Amaziah did follow after the Lord, he did not do it wholeheartedly. And if you do not do it wholeheartedly, it does not count. So I'm asking you all. Whenever you're doing something for the Lord, do it wholeheartedly. Don't do it for the sake of just doing it. And I mean, if you have to do it for the sake of just doing it, do it until it comes. Do it trying to put that feeling, to get that feeling of wanting to actually do it for God's sake. And not because you have to, or not because you're being told to, but because you want to and you want to please God wholeheartedly and it will come trust me it will come because sometimes guys it's hard you know the journey of becoming a christian and actually staying on the path of continuing to be a christian is hard i'm not going to say it's easy but it's very worthwhile and whenever you feel like you should not be doing something or you feel like you don't really feel like doing it that's when you should do it and persevere and trust me the lord will certainly intervene and will actually guide you through to the very end all right guys so that's it please remember to continue to walk in your salvation and if you've not yet gained it then seek it there's no better time to begin than the present have yourselves a blessed day bye